This video is a quick guide to how order of operations, which sometimes gets called bid mass or bod mass, also applies in algebra. So hopefully you should be used to calculating using numbers with bid mass and understanding that bid mass tells you about the order in which you do certain operations. Well, this also applies in exactly the same way in algebra. So just to remind you, when you're working with bid mass, B stands for brackets, so whatever is in brackets happens first. I stands for indices or powers, so any powers happen next. D stands for division and M stands for multiplication and these two things happen at the same time. And then addition and subtraction and these two things happen at the same time. So with algebra, I still do D and M, multiplication and division, before I do A and S, addition and subtraction. So what that means is if I've got a statement like 3N plus 2, well remember that 3N means 3 lots of N, or 3 times N, or multiply N by 3. So I do that bit first. So I would multiply N by 3 first, and then I would add on 2. I wouldn't do n add 2 and then multiply the whole thing by 3. So if I had something like this statement, n divided by 4, so remember that this notation just means n divided by 4, and then subtract 5, I do my division first, so I would do n divided by 4 first, and then I would subtract 5 from the answer. Just like when I'm using bid mass for number calculations, when I'm working with algebra, I still calculate any powers first. So that means if I have something like n squared plus 3, I would first of all square the n, and then I would add on 3. And if I had something like 4n squared, now this is a tricky one, this is where some people make mistakes. 4n squared means 4 lots of n squared or 4 times n squared. Now, because of the way bid mass works, the first thing I would do is square n and then I would multiply the answer by 4. I wouldn't do 4 times n and then square my answer, and that's really, really important. So I'd square n, then multiply by 4. And just like bid mass with numbers, anything in brackets is always done first. So if I have the statement 2n plus 3 and n plus 3 is in brackets, the first thing I would do is add 3 to n and then I'd deal with this 2. Now this 2 outside this bracket means I'm multiplying everything inside the bracket by 2. So I would first of all add 3 to n and then multiply the entire answer by 2. And then this one, 2n all squared. You might want to compare this to this one here directly above it, 4n squared. So with 4n squared, we were squaring n and then multiplying by 4. If I've got my 2n in brackets, I will do n multiplied by 2 first and then square my final answer. So the way things are written, both when using numbers and when using algebra, are really, really important. So you must remember that bid mass still applies. We still do brackets first, then powers, then division multiplication, then addition subtraction. If you want to see some examples using this and what happens when we start to actually substitute numbers in and work out values, then check out some of my other videos on substitution. Thanks for watching.